Welcome back to the Arizona Daily Mix. Chambers are very important, but do you really know what a business chamber does? Well, to tell us more about what they have been doing for the businesses of Scottsdale is Mark Stanton with us. Mark, how are you? Great, Brad. It's good to be here. Good to see you. It's good to see you, too. And, and this is the thing. We were just talking. The last time we saw each other was, like, before the pandemic. Yep. Everything was getting closed down. Things were going on. But you guys there with the chamber was making sure that businesses were taken care of. You were guiding them through all this. And so a lot of people wonder what a chamber does. So give a little background about what they do. Great question, Brad. Great, great question. A chamber is really a networking, advocacy, and education uh, program. And there are chambers all around the valley, all around the country. And what we do is we work with businesses of all sizes, help them extend their marketing, help them find connectivity to the community, and help them with their stakeholders. Maybe we're working with their young professionals group. Maybe we're working with them to get involved in public policy, or maybe things that they're so busy that they're focusing on their core business that they don't have time to to engage with. So the chamber, the Scottsdale Area Chamber of Commerce, provides those services. We have over a thousand members, all different sized businesses, from startup entrepreneurs to Fortune 50 companies, and everybody in between. Yeah. And they use our services uh, through our, so we're member-based, we're not-for-profit, uh, we are not part of the municipality. A lot of people think, oh, you're part of the Convention and Visitors Bureau or you're part of the city. We're not. We're an independent, member-based, not-for-profit, and we work solely. We get up in the morning, go to bed at night, and we focus on businesses. What we can do to help them engage with each other, expand their sales. Yeah, and what's really great is that you guys help grow the city of Scottsdale. What people, again, like you said, you guys aren't working with any of the other entities, but you are working to make sure those businesses are growing there. Um, one thing that's very important that people need to know, and it's a, it's a nice myth we're gonna break right now, is that you have to have a brick and mortar business to be a part of the chambers. But as we know, as we're going forward, there's a lot of online Scottsdale businesses there. Absolutely, a lot of online businesses, all different backgrounds, all different types of subjects from manufacturing to import export, hospitality, uh, financial services, compound pharmacies. We've got all kind of uh, different businesses and they don't have to have a bricks and mortar uh, facility. They can be working, in this case, we've worked for a year with so many businesses helping get them uh, avenues to market, having them get find ways to connect and network with other businesses and keep their businesses open because that's the key, that's the key. Yeah, um, and we were gonna talk about, well, we're gonna talk about it, but we were gonna talk about what businesses do when they are a member and what they what the chamber doesn't do when they are members. And that's something that people need to understand that you're not there to run their business. You're not there to do all their marketing and everything like that. You're there to connect them with other people that can help out, but also with the community because they can go to one stop place and look for everything. That's a that's a great point. You're right. We're not we're not coming in, we're not micromanaging. We're going to give those businesses multiple opportunities to network, to meet, to find out information. So for example, we do over two hundred events per year for our members and they can engage in all of them or some of them or network depending on what they need to do. We do morning connect events, evening connect events. We also work closely to put the business community in touch with stakeholders like the school district, like the elected leaders in Scottsdale, even on the state and federal levels to connect businesses so that they can hear firsthand from those leaders and they can voice their opinions, their feelings, their thoughts to those decision makers of which they work with. Yeah. All right. Don't get mad at me. I'm going to give a secret away. Okay. All right. Mark, are you ready? I'm shaky, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do the best I can. Okay. Go ahead, Brad. Let it go. The secret of joining the chambers is that there are a lot of people who look to invest in each other. And that's why you have those connections. And it's amazing that I've talked to a couple people there, the restaurant owner who met the bartender who was having a little financial trouble, so they came together at a chamber meeting because they were trying to figure out what to do. And that's what's so great about being a member of chambers, because a lot of investors go to you guys going, How can we help grow? The community. It's all about connectivity. It's all about those businesses getting the chance to meet each other that they may wouldn't uh, have had the chance in their normal circles. We've had companies that have come in and met a company and merged with them, or or they've merged with other companies and expanded. They found investors. They find employees. They find clients. And it's all in a space where we create the environment, we create the events, the opportunities, and our members take advantage of them. Whether it be learning about public policy or engaging in a young professionals group. Yeah. All right, I'm going to get in trouble. I'm looking around to make sure. But how in the world have you guys done such a great job there in Scottsdale during the pandemic? Because even while you know people were doing lockdowns and stuff like that, 
you guys are still growing. I was hearing from friends across the Midwest about, you know what, we're looking forward to coming to Scottsdale because of the businesses have been reaching out to us. That is just amazing. It really is. It's, un it's unbelievable. So during pandemic, we retooled, we created a lot of space for virtual events and virtual engagement. We also did a lot of work in helping uh, educate uh, businesses to how they could manage the PPP funding application and the reimbursement and the employee retention program. So we were doing a lot of online efforts to engage with them. At the same time, we were constantly doing outreach. We work with the Economic Development Department in the city of Scottsdale, helping attract businesses. And I have to say, Scottsdale in the Valley, where else would you want to be? Yeah. It, it, so many businesses have called and so many businesses have relocated. It's actually staggering and exciting. And frankly, with all the pent up demand, with all the events that we've got scheduled in person now, I've got people call and say, hey, I'm, gonna, I'm in business. I'm, I'm going to be coming into the valley. I'll be in Scottsdale. What do you got going? What's the chamber got going that week? So I almost feel like you know, <laughs> we're running a nightclub or something. We got there, things going. You know, we're really seeing great, uh, great uh, interest, great uh, support, but we couldn't do it without the members. The members who join the chamber get a myriad of benefits, and you just got to go to scottsdalechamber.com to find out, but a myriad of benefits. But most of all, they get to work with each other, and those members are the people that brought the chamber through the pandemic, and those the members that help build the community, help build the culture, and help build the economy. Mark, you guys are doing amazing there. We're, we're, we're still cutting still. ribbons I too. I know. I'm not afraid. There is. We'll, we'll cut a ribbon. Tell people how they can get a hold of the chamber. ScottsdaleChamber.com. Come and visit. Take a look at our website. If you have any questions, give us a call. All of our contact information is there. We'd love to talk to you. Our calendar of events. You've even got our listing of members that are on there so you can take a look and see, hmm, I'd like to get to know some of these businesses or I'd like to be part of that organization. We'd welcome you and love to have you. Perfect, Mark. Thanks for stopping by. You're welcome, Brad. It's great to see you. Good to see you.